Hi, Bob Coates here from Bob Coates Photography and Successful-Photographer.com. Um, today I'd like to give you a little tutorial on what I call the step and repeat. This will be an intro and then I've got a more advanced version coming up. Basically, step and repeat is to take an image, make a lot of copies of it, layer it together, and turn it into a bit of an art piece, if you will. Um, well, the definition of whether it's art or not is up to you, but it is a kind of an interesting thing. First thing we would need to do is isolate an object. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time cutting this object out from the background, but let's say we've uh, spent our time now and we have, have our horn. Um, and what do we want to do? Basically, we're trying to get that horn to about this neighborhood in the first set of steps, just to give you an idea. And the question would be, how do you get there? So I'm going to step back here. Uh, first you would do is you would open a new file. And once the new file is open, you can go back to your source file. And if you hold down the command or control key, depending if you're on Mac or PC, you can click and drag that image to your new file. Now if you want your whatever you're dragging and dropping into your new file to be directly in the center, if you hold down the shift key before you let go, the image will be perfectly centered within your document. Okay, um, and since I'm going to be spinning this around a little bit and I need room for it to move over in this neighborhood here, I'm going to slide it to the left just by holding down the command or control key. Again, I get the, uh, the move tool pops up when you hold that down. You get that. So there we have uh, our initial image. Uh, one of the things that makes this really have more depth is adding a drop shadow. And right down here in the FX menu, kind of drop down there at the bottom of that menu is uh, the drop shadow. And once you're in the, dro the uh, layer styles menu, you can take that drop shadow and put it anywhere you want. Obviously, you wouldn't want it offset too much. So we're going to take it and set it here. Now, as I spin that around, did you notice that these numbers in the dialog box are also moving? So if you change those, that will all, that's another way to change things. You can change the distance. Um, and the last thing that we want to make sure we change is the size because basically that's feathering the edges and, and making it soft so that uh, you know ideally when I create a drop shadow I would like drop the drop shadow itself to to be visible but not somebody to go hey look at that that's a really great drop shadow alright so once we have our image prepped and we've got our drop shadow we're gonna get ready to layer things together we need to make a copy of it so it's all set there. Command or Control J will make a copy of our image. Notice the drop shadow got deeper because that's two drop shadows laying on top of each other. Our next step would be to transform this. And you can use the shortcut Command or Control T to bring up the transform box. And when we have this, there's in a transform box, there's always a point where the image will rotate around, and that's usually in the center. Uh, and right now, let's say I didn't want to do that, um, we can just hit the Command or Control Z. It'll bring it right back to its spot. It does whatever you've done last on your transform. Instead of, trans instead of going around the center, if we click on the center thing, we can place that wherever we like. We can take it out here or over here, but for the moment, I'm just going to drop it right here at the end of the uh, horn and make that the pivot point. So now we're going to pivot around there. Now if I would like it to be a perfect number going around, if we take the idea that there are 360 degrees in a circle, if we wanted this to be repeated 20 times to make our circle, we can make it sure that this is an 18 degree turn. But that's kind of hard to kind of just drag out. Oh, it's 19.18.78. So if you look up here, there's a little angle box. And in that angle box, we can place the number 18. And now we know it's exactly 18 degrees. And we can say, OK, accept that transformation by hitting the Enter or uh, Return key twice, once to get out of that dialog box, and once to actually accept the transformation. Now. 
at any time if we want to repeat a transformation we can do that by holding down the shift key when we bring up the transformation so let's make our next copy commander control J shift command T and the image was repeated and stepped over commander control J shift command T and away we go now we could sit there and keep pushing those buttons all the time or Photoshop has that wonderful thing called actions and it's called copy and repeat is the what I've got it called here or step and repeat and now we can make all of those buttons be pushed at one time just by quickly going around so now we can just click on the action play the action play the action and there's number 20 and we now have a perfect circle with our horns all uh, laid out there uh, I have the top layer highlighted I'm going to hold down the shift key and highlight the bottom layer because I want to take this and pushing down the command key kind of sliding this over and now I've placed it directly in the center so that's a quick look at step and repeat and I'll go in depth on how we might be able to twist this and uh, make even more interesting things in a later lesson. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Have a great day.